In this tutorial, we will learn how we can make such reflection in no time using Illustrator. Let's do it. So I want to make reflection of this object. So what I'm supposed to do is first take a copy of this object and use command F to paste it at the exact position. Okay, so it is superimposed over the original object. Now go to this transform section and make sure that you have selected one of these three boxes at the bottom of this section. Then go to this menu and select flip vertical. Okay, so we have flipped this object vertically. So let's move this object down a little bit. I just want to give some space between the original object and the reflection. Let's now select this rectangle tool and create a rectangle which should cover the second ball, which should be the reflection. Okay. And fill this rectangle with black and white gradient. Then what you can do is select the linear gradient and let's fill it vertically. Okay. I am pressing the shift key also so that it stays exactly vertical. Now what you can do is select both the object okay the ball and this rectangle then under this transparency section you will find this menu item make opacity mark make sure you have selected both the objects now if i select this make opacity mark that's it now you can notice that the ball is disappearing from top to bottom right because we had the white color at the top and black color at the bottom. So under the black color, the ball will not be visible and under the white, the ball will be completely visible. Let's undo it and let's change this gradient a little bit and let's make it more realistic now. Okay. So this is what I want. Something like this. Now, if I select both the objects and I make the opacity mark and this is what we want, right? Something like this. So you, may use radial gradient as well so let's select radial gradient and uh, and let me apply it something like this okay so this is what i want and uh, let's make it something like this okay now again select both the objects and make opacity mark so further what you can do is select this object and change its opacity according to your preference so see this looks like a real reflection now so if you want to make minor changes in the gradient, don't worry about it. You can still do it. How? Select this ball again on which you have already applied the opacity mark. Right click it and click ungroup. It will ungroup the ball and the gradient object and then you can make your changes. And then again, you can apply opacity mask. So that's it from this tutorial. Keep watching study zone.